It's been about four months since rehabilitation work on the Military Road Bridge project started. Today, a big milestone, milestone for that project as crews are now pouring concrete for the bridge decking. KCAU 9's Jessica Watson joins us live in our newsroom with an update on the project and what residents in the neighborhood have to say. Jessica. Military Bridge used to be located on a busy street connecting Sioux City to North Sioux City traffic, but Lately, business owners say that it's been looking like a ghost town. But today's progress is a sign of hope for many. Everybody's struggling. Um, it's, it's been a hard road. I mean, you know, you hear rumors and stuff, but I don't know if anybody's closing or not. Kimberly Lucan is the owner of Bino and Cherries on the North Sioux side of Military Road. She says over the many months since Military Road construction started, her business has seen a 25% decrease in sales. Despite this, she's looking to the future. It's so much easier going around having an actual Facebook page that's keeping us up to date rather than relying on rumors and what people say. Project leaders have started a Facebook to share progress with locals, which has been reassuring for people like Lucan that construction will be done in September. Oftentimes with construction, the removal of the old things takes a lot longer than the putting in of the new things. And so now that we're finally starting to see something happen, quote unquote happen, uh, people are, should be happier about it, I hope. Crews have begun pouring concrete on the bridge and plan on completing the concrete base Wednesday afternoon. The new date of completion is September 28th. It's about a month away, so we're happy to get that bridge open and, and back being able for transportation uses. Lucan says she's looking forward to the day the bridge is complete and plans on celebrating. Bridge reopens. I'm planning on doing some sort of uh, like promotion or party or some sort. The construction crew still has a sense of incentives to get things done on time, and we do have this Facebook page to see how things are going day to day now. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News.